hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, today the topic is again uh, another scenario which will be related to the power query right so let's take suppose you are working for a sales company any xyz company and they are sending the invoice data to you in a plain text format okay so this could be possible one of the scenario they are generating one text file and just they are sending it okay and they have asked you to process this data into the power bi right so if you suppose this kind of format the format could be different but i took a like just a real time example of a data where you can get it kind this kind of data and you want to process this in the power bi so this is just like a heading this is the sales for the xyz company then there are four uh, actually columns are i have one is invoice number then is the number and my amount and my order date so this is the things i have and the below there is a grand total which doesn't mean uh, anything into me in the power bi when i'm importing because i, I anyways i can ca calculate the grand total differently but these are the four columns which is very important when i'm processing into the power bi and the last part is just like who done it all these things now let's see when you import this file to the power bi what is the problem we will face and how to uh, take that how to overtake that right let's see so let me open the power bi for you and let me import this file all right so this file i will share it uh, across the uh, the video description so let's get data and since this is a text file we will clear the text in csv and i'm selecting my invoice data here okay so this is the column only one column i have now transform the data here okay so this is the problem right i want this part only hmm? so how we can do that first thing first first of all i want to put a row number or or i can say the index for each and every row here okay how can do that you know that put the add column and index column let's start with the zero okay so in between i can say 3 27 this is the record which i want to extract actually okay but i can't do it manually because tomorrow any kind of data that could the changes of the row number also right suppose you you entered something on the top then my this data can be started fifth number row or sixth number row or eighth number row that is not the case right so somehow we need to make this process dynamic so that each and every time what sort of data they have i can extract this part only this four columns i want to just extract right so for that what i need to do here so let's see first of all identify the numbers for this and the this let's do that so what i'll do i will create a conditional column here sorry not a conditional column sorry put a filter on the column 1 okay and text filter begins with okay what i into begins with here uh, i can say what begins so it should be begins with the word called invoice okay i will say and this is case sensitive when you are putting the filter okay make sure that you writing i as a capital or whatever there in your data okay i will say invoice sorry invoice or it should be begins with grand or grand total or i will put a grand only so within that only i want to just filter the data okay so let's filter the data here so i am getting two row numbers here one at start at 3 and one is at 8 in between i want to just extract the data now how i will do it because this is my source step after that i have added the index and where i am the third that is my row number only so it means that this row number i want to uh, just connect back with the my source data right then only i can able to get it so there is a this is a new learning will be for you that on any step suppose you want to refer to the previous step suppose i want the source data again because after this 
it, I need the source data so that I can apply the the row number or the index number to fetch the data from the source. So for that, what do you need to do? Just click on the FX button after your filter rows or this just rename this first of all. So I am renaming this as my row number. Okay, this step is row number. Now after that, just click on this FX. Remove this part of the steps I have and I will just put the source, the previous source step where the data is there. I will say source. Just that's it. Enter. And you will get immediately the source data whatever you have. Okay. The row number after that there is a source. Got it. Now on this one what you need to do. Let's go to the row number here. So I need total 8 rows. Okay. It means from the 0 to 8. How many rows I want? From 1 to 8. I need this 8 rows of the data. Then finally I want to remove the first 3 rows. In this case. Okay. First 3 rows I want to remove. I want to first I want to keep the 8 rows. Then I want to remove the 3 rows. Then only I will get it this data. So that is more dynamic now. Right. So on the custom. Let's go. And click on the home tab. First of all I want to keep top 8 rows. So I will remove everything. So the grand total all these stuffs I will remove it. So I will make it. Now I will put a constant value of 8 here. But I will make it as dynamic. I will show you how to do that. Okay. Anyway, the first 8 rows was gone. But I can't hard coded this 8 value. This 8 I will get it from my row number step. Which is nothing but this 8 one. Okay. How to get it? Let's see. Instead of 8 right now here. You can refer to the row number step where the 8 is there. So I will say first of all the step name. I say row number. Okay. Then under the row number I have the index column. Right. So I will put in a square bracket. This is syntax. You need to follow that only. So I will say the index column. Okay. Then under index column which index. Let's go to the row number and see which index. Sorry. Go to the row number which index. This is 0 and this is 1, right? So this is 0 row, this is 1 row. So index is 1 in this case, okay? So in the curly brackets, I will put 1 here. Now if you put enter, you will just like you did it. Now we are not hard coding. So anytime this row number is getting changed, suppose tomorrow this row number is getting to 10, then it will be just keep the first 10 rows in this way, right? Next. What I will do, another transformation which I will do, I will remove the first three rows now so that I can get the correct data, right? So I will say the remove top three rows, right? Three rows. First of all, let's hard code the value. Then instead of doing this, what I will do here, let's go to the row number. I want to go to the uh, remove, uh, sorry, row number, index column, and which index? Zero index. This is the value, three. We are getting it. Okay? So instead of this, I will say row number. Okay. Then I can put inside the square bracket the column name. Then I can put in a curly braces. I will put zero number index. Right. And I put enter. Then you will get just got removed it. Right. The way it is. But it is more dynamic now. Got it. So this is the way you can create your uh, sales data. Now what I need to do? Just click on this and split column. By delimiter. So automatically it is taking up the tab. If it is not identified, you can specify also. Okay. Now click on the tab. Now each will be one one column. Now life is easy. Just put it here. Use first row as header. Right. So this is the overall data. See how the data was looking like. If you look, look at the CSV file. Okay. And how it is looking like now. It is more of a interesting. Right. So this is one of the scenario. And this concept you can put it. The most important thing is the get the row number. Finally get the source back. Where you want to put the row number. And take the row number from here. Rather than hard coding. So in the kept first row I put it. The index number 1. Which is coming there how many rows I want to pick and how many how many top rows I want to remove it. Then finally we are doing the split, then promoting header, then change time. Simple, right? Yeah. 
so hope you like this video and do subscribe please please sub subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this and uh, do check out other playlist uh, for my uh, youtube channel i will put the description on the on the description box okay and along with this this file also i'll attach to the drive and i will share access the link okay and have a nice day bye bye